up guys welcome back to T to T wrestling my name is Tony nice I'm here with Tim hello everyone kind of not maybe the normal nice I don't know I am uh, well I, I I'll try stream to Tim nice. yeah hi it's me <laughs> Shocking, I know Shocking, I know <laughs> But anyways, we are here to talk about the results of the Royal Rumble 2023, the first pay-per-view of 2023. Yep. Yeah. And it's the first one in quite a while, actually. We haven't had anything since Survivor Series, really. It's like November of last year. Yeah, it's been... I, I, I can't remember the last time we've gone that long without... It's almost three months, actually. Or two... Yeah, almost. Ah, two months at least. Yeah, he can't well, count. That doesn't happen okay. very often. <laughs> Three months, two months, you know. No, one, no. one or the Numbers, other. Numbers, right? Oh, God. Yeah, no. yeah. Mm, one all the, or the other. They're all the same. They're all the same. But anyways, guys. Yeah, but we missed you, I guess. We did. Yeah. We missed watching wrestling. So we're going to jump into this. So yeah. the first surprise we have was Mac Pat McAfee came back. Yay. Yeah, that was... Corey, was Corey Gray wasn't happy about that, but yeah. <laughs> Corey played his part to absolute perfection. Yes, Corey um, Gray, by the way, during the whole Royal Rumble was just hilarious. <laughs> I, I mean, I've said before, Corey Graves is the best co color commentator I've heard since... I don't think probably he Probably Bobby the Brain. I don't think um, he gets enough credit. No, he really doesn't. I mean, that man just... That man just knows how to do the villain, the villain commentator. Yes. Or the heel commentator. Yes, he does. And he's very, very, very good at it. All right. Well, um, he came back, and they had their little, he had a little entrance, whatever, and then yeah, he almost uh, fell off a chair, and yeah, you know, just Pat being Pat. It's I, fine. I like Pat Metaphy. I, yeah, I, I, I like him too. Pat I don't have a problem with him. The, uh, before he went off to, to do his own thing. So I'm not really happy with him coming back. And again, he, the thing is, Corey Graves really needs someone to play up against. Michael Cole is great. Well, not great, but Michael Cole is fine as a straight guy. But Corey Graves was always best back in NXT when he had Tom Phillips, who was the earnest good guy. Like, the earnest, intelligent, nice guy. Um, and to a certain degree, Pat McAfee is playing the same role, only maybe less sort of played naive, but he's playing the same role, and that just makes Corey Grave even better, and he's very good to begin with. Agreed. Agreed. Well, let's yep. get into the show. So, the first match is, uh, surprisingly, the 30-man Royal Rumble match, yep. which I'm going to do is this. Instead of naming all the names, I'm going to list the names on the screen of the order they came in, and the order they came out. And we, Tim, are just going to talk about it. And we're going to leave That's it on the screen for you guys. So. Probably a good idea. Doing a play-by-play -play always gets very weird. Cause yes. Yeah. So we were going to do, like, our favorite highlights or whatever. So, um... Yeah. I'm going to do um, that. So what do you... Um, what was, like... I, first of all, I wanted to say, like, Gunther... Man. Amazing. I got a ton of notes on this entire thing. Oh, go ahead. Um, Knock yourself out. I, 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 a ton of them. My first one is... Oh, well, the first note I had, I rewrote it after the match, of course. But holy shit, Gunther is in the entire damn time. Yes. I think he, that Gun might actually Gunther be... Gunther was, like, number one, guys. You, you see the list. Yeah, was number Gunther was one. number one, and he was the last one That's eliminated. One. Yep. Um, I think that might actually be the longest Royal Rumble performance ever. I think I saw that somewhere. I think so. Um, I think he broke a record. I think than so. Anyone else has ever done? I don't know, but damn, that man put in work. Did he? Um, did he? Sure did. Like man, like the fact that he started with Sheamus was, of course, you know, very, very, very practical considering they, they, those two at this point, just, just give those two a, a, like an Iron Man match. Yes. Just get everything over with. Just give them a sixty-minute Iron Man match. And have them beat upon each other for an hour. Oh, I, would love, to, I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone would. Uh, and, and just damn man, Gunther can put in work. If 
when everything is said and done and we have actual world champions again, oh, sorry, world titles again, damn, that man needs to be in the main title. Yeah, that's what I was saying, too. I was like, if this man is not in the main title, then WWE does not yeah. know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> it, it, it's also nice to see him, to see some like someone being that good and being that pushed to bring back a little bit of prestige for the Intercontinental title. We've said it a couple of times before that the Intercontinental title has fought, like, it should be the second most important title on, you know, the men's side. It seems to have fallen off a little bit in the last many, many years, just like, eh, it's sort of something we can give someone just to see what happens. But they just kept mentioning that he was, you know, Intercontinental champion, which is good both for the title and, and for Gunther. It, yeah. Um, uh, then I stopped taking notes for a little while because I just got caught up in it. But uh, Gagano's uh, Johnny Gagano was there. He had a sort of move where he did an over the rope jump into a DDT. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think it was yeah. on Miz. Maybe? Miz. It was on Miz. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was looked super cool actually. Um, New Day had a weird situation where they sort of did a. Reverse fireman's carry into a double butt slap. <laughs> yeah, it was like, was, what are they doing? Was, I don't know if it was cool, but it made me giggle. <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah, it was interesting, I guess. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> um, uh, after that, I had, well, Kofi's survive spot got botched again this year. Yeah. It was obviously meant to land on that chair. Chair, but... I, either they need to... I think they either need to drop that spot every year because it's two years in a row now so either they need to drop it or they need to sort of maybe like do, do it less complicated just have him land on you know Big E again or something, right, it's something you know, like that something, something like that something a little bit easier but his double stump on against someone just before uh, the guy from Legado del, del Fantasmo he did like a weird sort of Jumping double stump on him from a, from another move that was that was pretty cool. Um, oh, I I have a thing. Oh, you just interrupt with stuff you have. Um, but I have I mean, a thing I don't where have really much. <laughs> when when Lesnar came in, um, uh, I love how Seamus and McIntyre just stopped and just basically smiled. It was like, oh yeah, now now things are get going. Yeah, I like so that it, too. It, 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 like, it was super I, good for their personality. Right. Let's just smile back at them. Yeah. You're like, know. no, yeah, I like this look. Cool. Like, I see you. Yeah, I see you too. I'm about to yeah. go over there. Yeah. Okay. Come on in the ring. Yeah. Come on. And I was just like, oh man, not Lesnar. I mean, God, if you absolutely Lesnar. have to have less less uh, uh, Lesnar, the internal storytelling with Bobby Lashley was really good. Like, well, like, Lesnar came in first, yeah, Lashley but, came in immediately after him, and they only lasted like three minutes or so before both of them were eliminated. Lashley eliminated Lesnar and then got kicked out very soon after himself. That um, was which like was both... a really, really good idea, instead of letting both of them dominate. It was really good this year, because it, there wasn't any of the monsters sort of just dominating and throwing out five people here and there. Like... There was a legitimate fight going on constantly. My favorite part was when, you know, Bobby eliminated Lesnar. Yeah. I, yeah. It was so sudden and so surprising because, like, Lashley had been in there. I, I, like, Lashley, like, speared a bunch of people. He speared Lesnar yeah. and he speared this person and he just basically just bumped Lesnar out. And Lesnar yeah. got in a, in a hissy fit and started, like, to. And poor Perry Carbon got the F5, didn't even... <laughs> he got an F5, and then, like, Rollins came in and threw Perry Carbon in the ring, and they threw him right back out the ring. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for Baron Corbin. Listen, it, there needs to be one of those comedy spots every year, and Baron Corbin is really good at it. Yes. But, oh, God, that that man, dis that's another man that just... Unless he actually likes doing these comedy skits, if he does, all the more power to him because right. I love to see him. But there is otherwise a man. I know the audience has never really warmed to him, but there is a man who's just better than what he is being given. That's, oh, exactly. That's my opinion I think so. I, I honestly think so. I think he's a lot better. But I mean, like I said, like you said, if he's enjoying what he's doing, hell, let him do it. Yeah, it's fine by me. Have fun with that. I mean, he's in. 
the most prominent wrestling company in the world, and he's always on TV. I mean, th th that alone counts for something, you know. Um, no. Oh, ouch, when Eli Elias was there, he got eliminated by a sort of... It looked like a double bro kick from McIntyre and Sheamus, and that looked like it... Re I, I just wrote, ouch, that looked <laughs> like it really connected. Yeah, I like, did. That really looked like they double kicked him in the face. Um, I mean, I know they do, but still, it, it looked very real somehow to me. I mean, yeah. Um, it looked like it hurt. Now, one of the things that I really like um, is, like, later on in the match, but, like, the 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 high-flying thing between Ricochet and Logan Paul, yeah. that yeah, was pretty did. interesting I, and I good. Had that, yeah. Ray, uh, Logan Paul was number 29, I think. Uh, Logan Paul was in there, and I don't want to... I wrote here, actually... Um, I don't want to give Logan Paul any credit at all at any time, but you have to admit the man is is very athletic. Yes. So I was like, I don't like him, but he's doing, he's very good at what he's doing. Okay. He There's is, a reason he why he's there. <laughs> yeah. He and Ricochet was on the outside of the ring, on opposite sides of the ring, and that's a good 10 feet. I think WWE is running a bit smaller rings. I think they're running 9 foot rings instead of 10 which was otherwise, which is used in a lot of others. But that's still like nine nine feet or something. And both of them do the jump up on the top rope and then just jump towards each other and they meet in a double butt, uh, body block straight in the middle. Yep. And just falls down. Wow. It looked so awesome. It was so like awesome. Said, it was so Rick cool. Ricochet, uh, they have a lot of, I mean, you know, Rey Mysterio, the ultimate luchador and so on. I think that I still think that Ricochet is probably the best high flyer the company has. Oh, like, right. It, no, no offense no to doubt. Rey Mysterio. Ricochet is just you know twenty years younger with right. every bit of you know extra agility that that brings to us. Mentioning that Rey Mysterio should have been there, but was apparently we never saw him. Yeah, like, it's not like we saw him behind the scenes being lying laid, laid out. He just never showed up, and then Dominic showed up with, with his, wearing his mask. Like, yeah, because so I think it was like, I think Rey Mysterio was like number 17, and Dominic was number 18 or something like that. Yeah, the, the implication being, of course, that Rey Mysterio was taken out by Judgment Day, but it's... It, it I mean, unless it happened before. during the pre-show, because I did not watch any of that. Maybe during the pre-show. Pre I don't know, the, but like, he uh, wasn't there. I and I was just like... I was like highly confused, right? Because I'm like writing the numbers down and everything else, yeah. and I'm like... And I turned, because one of my kids was doing something, and I turned to look at my kids, and I turned around, and I'm like, wait, where's Ray? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, it's true, it could have been us. Like, where did he go? Well, he is very small. He is very small. I mean, he's, he's very short. I know he's short, but come on now. Come on, cameraman. Uh, <laughs> Pour the camera down. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it could have been in the pre-show, but then the commentators played it up like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this? And then, oh, he must have been... Like I said, I mean, it's very possible that Ray, I mean, could I mean, make it or something and they could be up with this or I don't know. Um, or he could have, I mean, I don't know. I just, It's kind of good set up for when they, they have no, the, the between. Of, of, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good, problem. it's going to be a good set up between if they have a fight between Ray Mysterio and yeah. Dominic Mysterio, which is fine. Oh. The Gagano elimination with the Judgment Day was was actually looked actually super cool. Yeah, I have on my notes. Now I can't remember exactly how it happened, but it was. Um, well, for the longest for the while, Dom oh, Judgment Day was pretty dominant in. Um, yeah. Until like Edge came, which I was. Well, kind then of Edge came in. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of a surprise, and then Edge dom uh, eliminated um, Finn Balor uh, and Finn Balor and, and, and Damian, Damian Priest. Priest. And tried to eliminate uh, um, Dom, but then Finn Balor and Dominic Priest came out, and they came Damian back, and came they and, came and, back and, and pulled Edge over, so Edge got eliminated, and they were all nope. fighting on the outside, yeah. and then... No, no disqualifications, remember? Yeah, there's no qualification. Uh, and then um, Rhea Ripley yeah. came out, and pretty much hit Edge, and then Beth Phoenix came out and speared Rhea Ripley, so... Which that was is the last actually one. something that comes up later in the evening that I'm not too fond of, but it was very cool to see it while it lasted, and it obviously furthers a feud that is well. It's probably it's yet. probably going to be a good um. 
maybe it's something between Rhea and Beth or like have some yeah, couple like, thing I mean, it, it, between it's, it's, between it's, the two because like I lived in the elimination chamber in Canada this year I believe so in Montreal I believe you're right I believe yeah, it's in Toronto so, or Montreal yeah. so yeah so that'd be a good setup for those those two um, but what are you gonna say? Oh, I, oh and Edge is definitely coming back. No, no, I, I don't really have anything to say. Like I said, it was super cool. It's just it plays into something that happened later in the show that I wasn't entirely that that I'm not entirely fond of. Um, also, of course, Edge is not done with Judgment Day. As soon as he's back from his usual hiatus, um, he he will come back and start feuding with the Judgment Day, probably with Ray again. And I it's, would imagine. It's, it's, it, it's it's just a setup for that. Yes, um, exactly. Um, what else? I have holy shit. Booker T still looks good for sixty something. Oh yeah, that's my Booker T. Booker T was probably the only surprise entrant. A real was... surprise, yeah, in the men's, yeah, in the which men's, is yeah. good. I actually like that because it means that everyone else who was there was sort of was like. I mean, they're all on the roster. Yeah, I'll come back to that when we give our, our overall overall thoughts about the match later. Okay. But yeah, no, Booker T was probably the only real surprise. He obviously can't move as well as he should in order to be sort of really active. But he, he looks, looks stiff when he moves. But again, he is what? 62, 60, 63? Something, something like that. It is, it is uh, but look, holy 60s. crap, the man looks cut. He looks like he could be right back in the ring tomorrow. Yes. Um... I was surprised. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, when I heard Booker T was coming back, I, he, there had been rumors. He had more or less, you know, ad admitted it himself in the weeks leading up to the show. Yeah, he was probably going to be in it. I thought he would do one of those things that some of the other, like, legends who come back to, who, who aren't able to get really get in shape, like wear a big baggy t-shirt or something. You know, the Kevin Owens show. The Kevin Owens uh, trick. Um, right. Not that I don't think Kevin Owens isn't you know, uh, in shape. He just might not look so much in shape as some. Um, uh, I really love... Bro I, I know... It, some people might say it's a waste of Braun Strowman, but I really love Braun Strowman and Ricochet working together. Again, I think it plays into... Braun Strowman is, in my opinion, best when he has that little bit of comedy stuff involved, and working with Ricochet allows them to do some very cool like, aerial stunts, the same thing he did with uh, Alexa back in the day yeah. uh, during the uh, intergender tournament some years ago. I agree. Um, again, I just like how they're building up... I, I have a note here. I like how they're building up relationships and storylines inside the match. It was just, but again, I'll come back to that. Otherwise, yeah, you notice that a lot of times, like, Seamus would help Drew yeah. and like Ricochet yeah, and help Braun Strowman. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 there was a lot of that. There was a lot of like. At, at, at one, Sheamus was basically eliminated, and McIntyre came up and pulled, reached out and pulled him back in again. Um, which is like again, there was a lot of that. It was really good, and the crowd was so into this. Oh my god, the crowd, crazy. man! This, this I'll, I'll talk about the crowd later. <laughs> Yeah. The crowd itself um, is just amazing. Okay, I'm running out of comments, and then we can get to our, our sort of overall thoughts about the matter, unless you have something. Uh, theory stump elimination was actually really cool. Um, uh, Cody Rhodes was the last entrance, as we had more or less predicted. Right. Um, and he gets he gets um, he gets theory in a uh, what is it he calls his finisher? The, the, the American, I can't remember. He get he gets uh, he gets uh, a theory in his finisher that means that he sort of ends up on his belly and then that immediately just comes in with a massive stump and he gets thrown out and look again. Oh yeah 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 the, the crossroads into the stump yeah and, yeah and, the and, crossroads and, into a stump yeah that's what it's called yeah exactly yeah. and I mean wrestling beyond being really athletic and fun to look at. It can literally be like a ballet dance when it's really choreographed. And yes. that crossroad into a stump into a kicking him out, it was just like Mwah. It was, it was great. like it was really perfect, good. Perfectly it, choreographed. It is too bad the Logan Paul yeah. eliminated Seth Rollins. <laughs> Cause for yeah, a long time Log Logan Paul was like out and we were like even like the commentary was like there's only four I and I'm like him, yeah. And I was like, What do you mean there's four? There's a what about Paul? What about Logan Paul? 
was like, oh yeah, Logan Paul. <laughs> like, oh yeah, Logan Paul. Logan Paul was oh, yeah. outside the ring for a while and then yeah. came back in and eliminated um, Rollins. Eliminated Rollins, which is sad. sad, mostly because I would have loved to see a bit of a three triangle match or like a three way match with the ones at the end, but. Then he himself got eliminated, and it was down to Cody Rhodes and Gunther. Oh, and man. of course, as I already said, that means Cody Rhodes, as we predicted last week, and as I mentioned earlier when I said that Gunther was last eliminated, Cody Rhodes won, as it should yeah. be. As, we, you know, as it should be. Yeah, as, as also, everyone predicted, as, we and as said. it absolutely should be. As we um, said. But Like we said. Like we said, because we know better than everyone else, and that's why you should listen to us. I know, right? We're the best. Uh, We're uh, wrestling geniuses. But um, (laughs) one thing I noticed was also, this wasn't like, okay, we're down to two, okay, they punch each other two or three times and one got thrown out. We got, like, almost a full singles match match, there at the end. I I mean, it it wasn't like a long series, but we got almost, like, six, seven minutes of just Cody and Gunther having a match. Like and said, again, it was so Cody good. It was so good. Gunther, he's been in the ring for an hour and ten minutes at that time, or something like that, and he's just been giving it his all, and he still could go, like, one-on-one on one with Cody, and right. it was a really good... I mean, had that been a single match, that would have been a really fun single match to watch. It was um, so good, guys. It yeah. was just... And yeah. then finally, you know, Cody gets him. Uh, there was there was a spot where like Cody hits him, and Gunther turns while being hit. And I was like, "Is that a botch?" No, it isn't a botch. It was so he could grab the rope better and pull himself in, which is like uh, that's actually pretty cool. That's that's you know, there's a reason they call him the Ring General. I yeah. like that they play into that from time to time. He's very good. Um, I mean, like I said, if Gunther's not in the main title, it, it pretty soon. Uh, he know. absolutely have to be. He absolutely have to be. But yeah, like we said, um, Cody won. So congrats to yeah. Cody. I, you know, I'm glad he won. But the main, the MVP for me was Bobby Lashley when he eliminated Brock Lesnar. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> no, you know, I don't buy that one. He wasn't the one who did the most work. That he didn't was do the most work. We did. He didn't do the most work. He did the important work. The important work, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the real MVP is probably, you know, MVP, Montel <laughs> Montavious Porter. No, no, it, my MVP would probably have been Gunther just because of oh, how Gunther, yeah, he I mean, put in. But, he's like this. But, he, you know, would, he would be the enduring performer <laughs> of the I'm whole thing. Buy, yeah. I'm willing to buy that we put our money on Bobby Lashley for, uh, for his uh, getting rid of Brock Lesnar before he managed to do any real damage. Yes. Um, yes. But anyway, I, can, anything else before we move on? I gave this. A, I gave this a five star. I gave this five stars. I think yeah. this is the best Royal Rumble match we've had. I really in like this. Maybe Royal, a decade or more. And I like it too because, like I said, there's not too many like guest spots and like just no, oh, no. I mean that's I I, I kind of like that too. But I kind of just like well, at least everyone has like a chance. Yeah, and and, and also, everything else, so it's like, oh, that's great. Well, even though we knew who was going to win, but still. Uh, of course, but... Days, 30 years later, let's go to the next match. <laughs> we got the pitch black match between L.A. Knight versus Bray Wyatt. You know what? No. Um, when I was looking at this match, you know what I thought of? I thought mm. of... Why didn't... Naomi never have a match like this. Yes, that was actually also popping through my right. mind. That was one thing that popped through my mind. They should have I'm done like, this with Naomi. I'm like, they could have had this for Naomi. This is a Naomi match. And if you know Naomi's concept was like, you know, the glow. Yeah, flu- yeah, Everything the glow, was just like, stuff. for us and stuff, everything was like, glow. And like, under our black light things and everything. Like, you know, yeah. it was just I, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's true. I have I have three lines of comments for this actually. Well, one is well, this is certainly colorful. Yeah. Second one, a bit later in the match is this is so weird, but it, I mean it's colorful and the last. <laughs> oh my <white> yeah. <laughs> and the last one is again, yeah. Hmm, Naomi should have been. No, in the no, match. That was my thing too. That was like what? I was like, why is this not a Naomi match? <laughs> I know. Well, I mean. She could have been there if he hadn't fucked up earlier. But right, you know, but happened. still, you know, I, I was just like, 
it, I don't know what to say about this match. It's so weird. I mean, they fought. <laughs> they fought. They didn't fight for that long. For like I mean, seven both minutes, of them came I think. Out looking fine. Yeah, it was just. I don't know what I, I. A lot of people apparently don't want to fight with or be in the be in ring with with um. Right, because they don't feel like any of his opponents come out looking good. I'm like, Ellie Knight came out of this looking fine. Yeah. He knew he was going to lose, but he had his offense, he had his stuff. It, it was, I mean, you couldn't see a goddamn thing because all you could see was, you know, glowy glow stuff moving around the screen. And then there was but, like, um, they went to like, they were, like, got on like the announcer chairs and like knocked something down, and there was just like glow. Yeah. What, why stuff? This looks like, 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 like glow, glow confetti. It looks like, like, you know, gold confetti, some sperm, whatever. I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was very, just very weird. weird. Right? It, it was so weird. I was just like, what what the hell is this? And I get let, it. Let, let, I get it. It's, it's a promotion yes. match for Mountain Dew, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm just me, like, I, I am so say, confused. Let, <laughs> I was about to say, I hope they got paid very well. My, by I hope they got their money for this match. Because I hope they did. It was, um, I mean, they did, I mean, I'm not complaining about the fight. The fight was great. No, no, the fight was fine. Like, it was, and then it again, was like, it was you know. Seven minutes or something. It right, it was like seven, some, seven and a half it, minutes, something like that. And then, you know, Brave, you know, pin LA Knight and then Uncle Howdy Doody Do, whatever, yeah, was on the top. And on top of the private right. thing and then fell down. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No, so I don't know. I, I'm not sure anyone knows what's going on right now. I was yeah, so confused. I, <laughs> also, if you don't know why we call him Howdy Doody Do, you need to go listen to the prediction show from uh, when from last week. Yes. Um, that explains everything. I hope that WWE have a plan with this, and they have a script for this, and they know where they're going with this. Because otherwise, I'm starting to feel like this is like late season X Factor where they're just throwing mysterious crap at the screen and hope that people are too distracted to notice that none of it makes sense. Because um, that's what I'm afraid of. Because I maybe it's just because of this match being so... I mean, this match, even the goddamn Randy Orton match that, other, that from Mania a couple of years ago, that we was like, what the fuck is this? Right. With the, with the Fiend. I mean... <laughs> This was, this gave me the same sort of, what is going on? I was just on? like, I okay, like, I'm just baffled, what's happening, what, what's yeah. going on, where's Naomi? <laughs> like, yeah, <exactly. laughs> Again, there, there's nothing bad about this at all, like, it's... Like, we're not, like, we're not saying it's bad, it was just... I, I, I'm not even gonna just call this odd. a pee break, yeah, <laughs> I'm not even gonna call this a pee break, Matt, because it's so unique. Neat. You don't want to miss it, trust me. Have you it. have to see it. Because I don't even you, think you, we could put this into words, what we saw. You have never just like, seen anything what? like it before, and you probably never will again. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> again, if anyone, I, I, I've mentioned this a couple of times before, but if anyone has been around wrestling long enough and watched TNA back in the day to remember when um, Matt and Jeff Hardy had their little whatever the fuck they did in their own backyard. Um, th that's sort of what it put me in mind of. Not the, not in, in similarities, but just because of how, yeah. Strange and baffling and strange and weird. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm just yeah. scratching my head. Like, what, what anyway, did I just watch? Anyway, one, LA Knight can hopefully go on to feud with someone that can actually give him a bit, a, a little bit of a longer match. Uh, we got the Raw Women's Championship um, Bianca Belair defended her belt against Alexa Bliss, which is another short match. Another short match, very, uh, but this is one where I have, I had a long, I wrote a long rant about, there was a comment on a video we made where someone wasn't very keen on Alexa Bliss, and I had a very long sarcastic rant written about that, um, which I'm going to spare you all for now that I've taken a deep breath and, you know, gotten some sugar. Or something, but it, it actually worked for a short match. If you want a short match, I think this is how you should do a short match. It was the problem with a short match is that it's often one person almost dominating the entire time, the other person getting in like two or three pints of offense, and then it's suddenly all over very quickly. 
Yeah. This was back and forth with high pace, so it didn't feel quite as weird when it was suddenly over, because it was all, because the match was so well structured and high paced, it felt like a natural development. You could understand why someone might be too exhausted to dig out of, of that in, after that shorter time. It also shows exactly how you can do two com completely contrasting characters. Like Alexa is very small. Let's face fact, she is, I think, she's there's right a reason right. they did the Five Feet of Fury back in the day. She is very tiny. Um, but she really knows how to work that, like short, fast, furious attacks. Keep the opponent off balance and then do some power attacks here and there. Bianca is being played as probably the strongest member on the women's roster. And she uses that to her advantage. Like, it's, a, it's just a very well scripted and very well done match. It's just that it lasts 6 minutes and 35 seconds. So, you know, it, it will never be an instant classic. But for what it was, it was fine. Yeah, um, Bianca Bella retained. Shall we move on? I think so. I don't think there's anything to say today. It was a fine match for what yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a good match. It was a good 6-minute match. But I mean, it's like, yeah. you know, it's Alexa and it's, um... Bianca and you know that there, there's a reason why they're on the top because they yeah, do exactly. do good matches but anyways let's move on um 30 women rubble rumble match I'll do the same thing yep. as I did for the men's I'll put the names up and how they got eliminated and the numbers they got eliminated okay so let's just get yep. into it cause number one was Rhea Ripley that it was number and two it was, was Liv Morgan, Morgan. Even though Liv yeah. wanted to be number one. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to come back to those two again later. Yes, we um, will. <laughs> um, I don't have that many comments on this. I don't think this was as good as the men's match. No, I don't um, think so either. This was a, I mean, this was a fine rumble match. It wasn't a bad rumble match, and I don't think a rumble... A rumble match has to be very bad for me to not like it. And this wasn't a bad rumble match in any way. Um, but it just, it, I don't know how to put it, it felt smaller than the men's rumble somehow. Maybe also because the, the roster is smaller, there's a lot of people there who doesn't really have a presence on the roster that well, there has was to like be fitted what? in. There was like, what, three NXTs, right? There was yeah. the NXT Women's yeah, Championship. Yeah, Indy Hartwell, Zoe, Indy we, whatever her name is. And then and Rosa the new Pro champ. Yeah, whatever her name uh, is. Who, who's the current champion there? Roxanne, Roxanne Perez. Bay, I want to say, but that's not her name. Roxanne um, Perez. Yeah, Roxanne Perez, yes. Um, um, but, then the, yeah, yeah. And then they, uh, I think it was one of the coolest things was like when Michelle McCool, because she was in the audience and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah Michelle McCool. So she just went out from the audience. <laughs> Kate, she came from the audience, you know, to like tell her kids, yeah. right, right, right here, kids, I'm gonna be right back. I, I, like to see, I like to see Michelle, and one thing is for certain, Michelle could probably still go if she wanted to. Yeah. I mean, um, she's still she in good shape. It's fine. Yeah, it's um, fine. You know, if she wants to, if she wants to have once in a while do these guest spots, and then yeah, once in a while, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. that. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, oh! What? Oh! Yeah? I know. I know Tim's gonna be really happy about this one. We finally got Chelsea Green! Yes! Okay, <laughs> let me just down. I have like three or four comment lines before that. Okay. I have two comment lines here. Yes! Chelsea Green! The real queen of T2T -T wrestling! And then immediately after, the next line, well, a very short-lived queen, but still the queen! She was in there um, like three seconds. She was <laughs> in there like, yeah. bye! Oh, that was oh. definitely the comedy elimination of the women's match. Yes. Absolutely. She was just like, um, oh, she's like this talking mess. And I was like, oh, finally. You only took forever. <laughs> Tim been waiting for you all since Survivor Series, Chelsea. Where the hell have you been? Oh, <sighs> look at Chelsea. Oh, never mind. Bye, Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Chelsea. Oh, bye, Chelsea. I can't remember. Was it Raquel Rodriguez or Rhea Ripley? Who Rhea threw Ripley out? threw her out. It was Rhea Ripley, yeah. Very quick. I like it that. It was really um, quick. Uh, like I said, it's fine. Well, my queen, my queen made an appearance. Everything is good. I mean, she world. showed up. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what the hell was up in Natalia's entrance uh, outfit? It was like, are you <sighs> taking a book out of Seth Rollins' uh, thing? I don't it's know. Was, when she first came out, I was like, 
Who the hell? Oh, it's Natalia! Yeah, I was Couldn't like... see it! I mean, if I didn't recognize the music, I would have yeah. never known. I was like, oh, what the I hell? first thought, wait, who the fuck? Is that Nia Jax? <laughs> oh, no, it's Natalia, you know... <laughs> but, you know, that was what that was. By the way, N Nia Jax made her return. Yeah, she I was number 30. Don't, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent return, but she was there. I don't think it's going I'm to be glad, a I'm glad, because I'll, um... Not, not to interrupt you or anything, but I am glad oh, that I'm... they changed Dude John's name back to Piper of Nivens. Yes, I have that on my notes. I am so happy they changed Dude Drop back to Piper. Piper Niven is was used to be her indie name. Um, well, I I don't know if her real name. I don't actually know what her real name is, but it, it used to be what she wrestled under. And I know she looks like. I don't know how to say this in a very nice way. I know she looks. I know she looks fat and out of shape. But she is so bloody. She's such a bloody good wrestler. She's such a good big person wrestler. Yeah, she's that... really good at. She's like. I mean, she's heavy, but she's very agile. Yeah. she's kind of like she's... the the Otis. <laughs> yeah, to a certain. I mean, <laughs> if anyone remembers Hugh Morris back in the day, that's sort of the same thing. Like a big fe a big fellow that suddenly out of the blue is doing top rope, uh, top rope. Um, like spin moves and so on, like way better than her than her body shape indicates that she is, and she's just so good, and she deserves so much better than to be saddled with what is basically a bubble gum gimmick. Um, just put her back as putting her back as Piper Niven is making me so happy. Yeah, I was really happy about that. I was like, oh, thank um, goodness. Um, yeah. another thing that I like, well, that I noticed was like, um, damage control is pretty much doing. Damage control, just eliminating yeah. like pretty much everybody, which was yeah. good. I was like, you know, I, I was like a part part. Cause I mean, here's the thing, right? We went, we came into this match not knowing who, 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 who was gonna win, who, who they wanted to win, because no. everybody that I was looking at, I was like, okay, I can see them going for I mean, the belt, and that person yeah. going for the belt, and that person. The, yeah. the, the, the eventual winner makes fairly good sense, but we have no idea going right. in. Yeah, so I was like, I can see like damage and control trying to eliminate everybody, and then yeah. like since since that you know, Eo Sky and Dakota Kai had already like got belts, so I was like, they could they could just take over the whole thing and yeah. just let and just let Bailey win like automatically. I'd be like, yeah, I could have I could have I could have done with that. I could have been I, cool with that, but you know, I, I mean, that didn't happen. No, no, they all got eliminated. No, it didn't. They, 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 they can't eliminate, but they made a very good showing of themselves as a team. Yes. And I, I kind of feel like it gave. I know they have the titles, but the fact that Bailey keeps losing is not good. The fact that their leader keeps losing high profile matches is not good for their street cred, if you want to put it like that. You you know, it doesn't matter if, if the other two are women's tag team champions, if their leader keeps losing the big If yeah, your leader sucks! Yeah. Eventually, it's like, uh, okay, okay, who takes them serious anymore? I feel like this was a good way to sort of get them rehabilitated a little bit. Yes. Like, they got eliminated, that's fine, it's a Royal Rumble, it happens to everyone. Um, but I, when they were in, they showed themselves to be fairly dominant as a team. Yes, they did. They uh, did very they well. Whenever they had a chance to sort of work as a team, they were, they, they were fairly dominant. Um, Asuka... Seem to be moving back towards. Uh, seem to be moving towards Kana, as we talked about in a while. That was basically her Kana personality um, under the mask. Yes. Which is which makes me happy. Uh, yes, I'm I, really happy I've about wanted that. to see that in a while. Um, I like the damage control and Becky elimination. It's a good storyline. Like it gets them out of the way. They were they weren't supposed to win. It gets them out together. It furthers their storyline without yes, making any sure. of them look weak. Yes, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be probably something between Bailey and um, Becky oh, they, they and WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah Elimination um, Chamber, yeah, or yeah, or, yeah, or WrestleMania, um, whatever. I, I had a thing with Selena had two spots. Selena did great, by the way. She did fine. Uh, the, the the little time she had, I'm, I was glad. To, I, again, we've said before, Selena seems to be one that they build up for something big and then seem to forget about again for like. So yeah, um, she had like her street fighter outfit yeah, on she, or she, something. She, she did fine. She had two spots though. First one with Piper, Piper Niven, former Doomdrop, and then with Raquel, where she did a Hurricane Rana uh, on both of them really, and both.
them sort of you, you could tell it, it, it wasn't a botch plot but it's one of those where the hurricane rana is over basically and the other and the the and selena was back on her feet before they started falling yes and nothing is wrong with the way they took the hurricane rana both of them did it correctly but i wonder if selena needs to sort of she's very fast one thing you've always said about selena is she's very very quick very very agile i think she needs to slow down her moves a bit when working with some of the bigger girls yeah i think it's she, um, she should and in, in this case bigger girls does not refer to heft but also just you know taller size, size because, taller yeah, house you Raquel know Raquel is absolutely not hev heavy set but yeah but she's really tall. tall yeah and that does affect how quickly you can sort of twist your body around and i think it would have looked better if she sort of slowed down the move just a teeny bit for them to be able to keep up with um i don't have a problem with it but it's there lacey evans was there um hi lacey reason, people are very angry with lacey evans and don't want to see her because it's like well she has never really broken through blah 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 i don't know i like lacey evans i, mean, I like lacey evans um, too like i don't know maybe there's not i think she has most right. been unfortunate with her pushes it like there's been a couple of times where it's like she is breaking through now and then she got injured then she got pregnant then she got caught she got injured she got pregnant she got caught up in the whole rick flair charlotte flair um catastrophe yeah. um they didn't know never really seemed to know exactly what to do with it like i said i like lacey evans i think she's very talented in the ring and i really hope that she actually gets a chance to show what she can do over a longer period i like that's, that's just me yeah i like how like everybody in the ring when Nia jack's music came on everyone just looked at her like Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're back. Okay. Uh, this is, this is Everybody just I, stopped. <laughs> this is why I don't think Nia Jax is a permanent return. Like, this was probably a one-off. Just because it's one of those where she comes in the ring, she throws around a couple. Uh, Rhea Ripley has a really sick-looking riptide on her. Again, Rhea has some physical strength there. Yes. Um... You understand why Dominic, you know, has a bit of step on me, mommy, energy going uh, constantly. But she's made a uh, Naya is a big is a big person, like a big woman. Uh, Rhea just got her up and smacked her down in a rip time. Then everyone in the ring eliminated her. I yep. think literally everyone in the ring. There was, was like eleven people that eliminated her. Yeah, there was like eleven left, and like they yeah. all. I was like, bye, Naya. I see you. <laughs> and then finally, at the end, the last two survivors in the ring, when everyone's eliminated, well, was actually the last. Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. Well, actually three if you count Oscar was there too. Fair enough. Oscar, they're all on the, uh, the out on the apron, and they're all out there, yeah. and then like Oscar was gonna spray um, Rhea Ripley, but Rhea ducked yeah. and sprayed um, um, Liv, and then uh, um, Liv, yeah, and then. Rhea Ripley eliminated Asuka, and then poor Liv, you know, I was like, poor Liv. <laughs> poor Liv. I, I, it, was, it was really weird. They really went in on the extremes this year. Like, the women, the last two women was number one and number two, number one, women. one. Yeah. The last two in the men's match was number one and number 30, where number 31, like, it was, I, it I was really like how, how, time. I really like how Rhea Ripley eliminated, um, Liz Morgan with her legs. She just yeah. tossed her all of the way with her legs. Yeah. Like, he just like. Because Rhea Ripley was like hanging on, trying not to, you know, trying to not lose, and then dropped, grabbed like Liz by like her legs and just yoinked her out there. And then, you yeah. know. So Rhea Ripley Liv, won. I'm so. sorry, Liv. I am so sorry. But, I mean, to be fair, you suffer so very beautifully. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're at your most pop. You, you seem to be at your most popular when you almost succeed. Rather than when you do, you do so, succeed. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Well, that might be your future right there. But uh, yeah, Rhea won. Rhea won. I'm not angry at it. I, I can see, at all. and I can see, um, her sliding either or, Charlotte yeah, or I, or I, Bianca I, because, I mean, I hope it's Bianca for me. I hope me. it's Bianca too. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Because um, for me, it's like we never got that Bianca Rhea Ripley match because no. Rhea Ripley got no, injured we and we never got that match. And I no. really want to see that match. We we, we have seen Rhea versus Charlotte, Charlotte a couple before. of times yes. already. And while I'm sure it will be a fine match, 
Um, I would rather see, for instance, Charlotte versus Raquel, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I I'm not saying it's going to be Raquel at Mania. I don't even know Charlotte's going to be champion at Mania. I'm just saying that there are other matches I would rather see with Charlotte, but I really want to see Rhea versus Bianca. Really, really, really. And I mean, Rhea has, to a certain degree, established herself as one of the primary women on the roster with her with her Judgment Day uh, work. I mean, she's basically the leader of the Judgment yeah. Day these days, and I, in, I, in a lot of ways. Yeah, um, and it probably would work if she would have the belt with the Judgment Day, too. Alright, well... Um, overall, I call this, like, maybe four, three and a half, four stars? Um, four stars. It, it wasn't bad. It, again, it wasn't bad, it just... It could have been it better. Didn't, it didn't... The men's match felt epic and super engaging all the way. The women's match had boring stretch. I mean, no, it's a rumble match. It didn't have boring stretches, but it had stretches where it was like you could have there cut was that like out a, without us losing anything. There was a lull in, in certain parts yeah. where I was just like, oh, wait, I'm pulling attention but, to the match. That's right. Again, the, 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 <laughs> when, whenever the women and men has had the same kind of match recently, like the war games and so on and so on, the women has blown the men out of the water. Uh, this time it was the other way around. Yes. Sorry, girls, just you have to do better at elimination games. Do That's better. All I can say. If you want to, be, uh. you want to deserve better, do better. <laughs> yeah, I mean nothing to say about that. Again, it wasn't a bad match. I was entertained. I I I like a lot of the stuff. Tim is just with really it, hard and difficult to please people. It's fine. I am. I know. Let Let's say. The, the thing I can say about it was, if this had been a 45-minute match instead of an hour and five-minute match, I wouldn't have minded. I would have minded that with the Those last 15 Again, minutes, not, I really pissed him off. <laughs> I'm really not I'm really not trying to badmouth. It was a fun match. You should go watch it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think it suffered from having... I think it suffered from having a bunch of women who doesn't really have any relationships with each other on the roster because we act because we see them relatively little. Alright. Well next match. Main match. Uh, best match. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I told people I wouldn't see it and I didn't. We can talk about the aftermath if you want. Or if you want to give a a review of the match itself. Well, I didn't watch I don't it. know why Tim didn't see it. He should have saw it. Okay. No. Because I already said I'm not watching any more okay. Roman Reigns matches. I, I just watched it. I mean, I just watched it because it was playing. <laughs> yeah. I just watched the whole I, show. I don't just like, oh, let's watch this match. I, want, I didn't watch it live, so I could cut it, so I cut it. It's very simple. I cut to the end, so who won? Fine, boom, we move on. I am not watching any more World Championship uh, World Championship. All right, we'll just cut to the end they, then. Until they take one of those titles off Roman. I just Whoa. don't care. Well, okay. We'll cut to the end. So Roman yeah. Reigns won after, of course, um, there was a part in the um, match where, obviously, because it happens all the time, the ref gets injured. And then oh. there was a, um, at that time, um, Roman goes to ask um, Sami Zayn to go get him a chair. And Sami Zayn was, was a little hesitant to get the chair. and But then he got the chair, and then he was hesitant to give him the chair. But he gave him the chair, and then at that time, um, um, Kevin Owens put, um, Roman in a stunner, and, you know, pinned him, and of course there's no ref, so then, uh, he goes step outside to go get a ref, or get a chair, or do something, I can't remember, and then, um, you know, Sammy Sam was telling him to, like, you know, just stay down, so about that time, Roman Reigns was, like, beating the shit out of Kevin Owens, and, like, slammed his head against, like, the the stairs like a couple of times get a couple of spears and I think the Superman punch and pinned him anyways um so then it was at the end of the match now you can come and talk <laughs> end of the match no, they, they, I, brought I in, and they brought I, in um, I they brought in um they brought in um Usos and match, so yeah, yeah. you know Solo and, um, you know, they're all celebrating and everything else. And then they started beating on, um, Kevin Owens some more. Everyone was, everyone except for, um, Sami Zayn. Was. Everyone except for Sami Zayn. And then they got Roman, sorry, they got Kevin sort of uh, handcuffed to the, handcuffed to the ring. Well, but yeah. now we're going to really abuse him. And, you know, here is Sami, here is a chair. Hit your friend in the head with it. Yeah, well, at Ro first, Ro at first Roman was going to hit. 
Kevin yeah. Owens, and then um, you know, you can see Sammy was like, "Oh God, no, no, no!" And then Sammy, Sammy said, actually Sammy, got in the way, like, no, no, yeah, no, Sammy sat fine. in the way and was it's like, fine. "Y'all, you know, what? you're the tribal chief. You don't need to do this. This is beneath yeah. you." And Roman's like, "You know what? You're right. You do it. You do it." And he's like, "I don't want to do it." We don't only see Instagram. He said, "It's like time is like he suffered enough. It's over." He's like, no, you do it. Take the chair. You take the chair. And he started, like, pushing, like, Sammy, like, being in his face. Like, you know, this is my life. This is what you yeah, need yeah, to do for me. And you got to tell you, you will do what I say and everything else, right? Right. And Jim, yeah. Jimmy was like, yeah, hit him with the chair. Jay was kind of like, kind of like just backing up a little bit. You know, he wasn't like, you know, like really whatever. And, um, you know, once again, Sammy Zane was, like, hesitant with the chair and then he's like, well, go ahead and do it. Pull the trigger. Make your choice. And then that's what Sammy's saying. It was the chair shot heard around the world. What? <laughs> well, at least around the wrestling world. Well, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he hit Roman. He, he, he turned hit, on he Roman. He turned on Roman. I mean, if you then, remember Seth Rollins hit with the chair. With yeah, Rollins or something like that. I, I think that person, personally, I think that maybe had a little bit more effect um, because that was so unexpected. Um, I think everyone could sort of see where this was going. Um, but, yeah, it was it was sort of the same thing. And then Sammy basically put down the chair and allowed Jimmy to super kick him. Um, well, he was talking to Jay, because Jay with him yeah, and Jay were, like, arguing with each other. Yeah. And he was like, he's like I, Jay was like, why are you doing this? Why did you do this? Blah, 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 you're my friend. Right? And Jay was, like, super kicked him, and Jay was too, um... To uh, Jimmy was to Jay Ed. You think he's your yeah. brother? He's not your brother. I'm your brother. And Jay was just like shocked and everything else. Yeah. I'm like, I wonder if Jay's like suffering from PTSD or something. I was like, then he. Uh, yeah, I, I was guess. like, I was like, I remember like in 2020 when him and Roman Reigns had the I Quit match and everything else. Yeah. I'm just like, but like, yeah. So then Jimmy starts pet pounding on you know, um, uh, Sammy, Sammy. Yeah. and then and then um. <laughs> Solo started pounding on Sammy, and then Roman started pounding on Sammy, and then he's like, come on, come hit him, and everything else, and Jay just, like, left, get out the ring and left and walks up the ramp, and everything else, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I have mixed feelings on this, because it was so well acted. Yes. Everyone just was super good. Again, I will never badmouth Roman for, for, no matter how much I hate the current bloodline thing, no matter how much they really, really need to get another champion soon, like really, um, I will never badmouth Roman. He plays that part to absolute perfection. Uh, Sammy has been Sammy should have a freaking Oscar for his work the last six months. Sammy has carried WCWE since since Mania last year. Like he has been without question been the best thing on the entire goddamn roster. Um, and he, he played this to absolute perfection. The thing is, a lot of people are like, this is the best storyline the company has done in two decades. And I have to say, I, it doesn't hit me with the same effect because this is all stuff that should have been done months ago. Ages I, ago. I mean, do you, I, mean, I can that say that you're just frustrated. Roman, the, the you're just frustrated because it's... Roman the title? Uh, sorry, you, uh, no, you, you, you told, I mean, you told, sorry. I, I think you were just frustrated because it took so long, because you could have had the same story, like, a year ago. Yeah. Right. And I think or, you were just frustrated. Or even just mid, mid-autumn or something. Right, and it could have happened um, a long time ago, because, I mean, if well, you, if you take out, take out the links of it, it's a good story. I think it's a good story. It's an amazing I, it, it's, it's a story. story. It's just the story just took it's too long to get well here. It's too well told. It's just too long to get here, and that's what we're yeah. frustrated about. But I'm I mean, like, it, okay, it, I'm it, trying to take all my frustrations out, and I'm like, okay, if I just started watching this from like two years ago and I didn't know anything about this, I'm like, all right, I can, I can, I can dig yeah. the story. But like, Holy I've been like back to back watching this like entirely, so I was like, oh god, I'm sick and tired of this yeah. shit. But I'm sick and tired of how I mean, every time he ro- Roman Reigns the- wins all the time. I'm, but just, like, yeah, I'm just tired of the bloodline. I don't think that's I, the problem. I'm so tired of the bloodline. I don't care about it anymore. Yeah, I, but it, like it, it, I, I should because again, this is so much better. 
again, I, I have nothing to complain about. Sammy, Roman, Jay, Jimmy, Heyman, Owens, all of them played it to perfection. It was so well done, and I just can't bring myself to care. It didn't do anything. It didn't betray Roman so he lost the title. It didn't do anything. It was just... It, it, okay, now what? I don't know, man. Sammy is out. Sammy is out of the bloodline. Good. He was the only good thing about the bloodline. Oh, now Jay is going to be the new. Will he be the traitor? And we're probably going to have a Jay versus Roman fight. <laughs> That's just more bloodline. I mean, here's the thing, right? With the bloodline, okay, uh, this is what I think, right? With the bloodline, with um, Roman, it always has something to do with he always gets outside help. Yeah, I think I if Jake yeah. is if Jake can get everyone away from Roman. No, no, I get it. I just think that they then Roman is going to win on his own or have nah, another person I, I, come in from fucking no. out of nowhere. I just don't trust this shit anymore until I see someone else with that title around them. I mean, like that's, that's the thing, Diane. Right? Um, like, if they if they do do a J, like what needs to happen is J needs to fight Roman. Not necessarily for the belt, but he needs to be able to. Pin yeah, Roman. Of course. He needs yeah, to pin absolutely. Roman. Even before, like, WrestleMania. So then he can lose the belts to, like, Cody or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't But care. he needs to get pinned by Jay. And, and probably would humble his ass or, like, throw him off his whatever. game or something like that. I know you or, don't or like Jay it. Jay can turn on Roman at Mania and cause him to lose the titles. Yeah, and then that, they can feud. Yeah. I don't... It, it, it's fun. It has to be I'm something like that, that, but he, Yeah, something like that. I but, yeah. love Jay Uso. I love Jimmy Uso. I love Roman Reigns. They're amazing in the ring. They're amazing in the storyline. They really do need to have that. I mean, we got cheated out of that feud originally. The, yes. the problem was that originally when they... Remember we talked about this when they set up um, Jay as a sort of when Jay had been injured and came back and was like, "You need to acknowledge me," and Jay was like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" It was like, like they tripping, were right? teasing like... that storyline, and then they had one quick match. It wasn't even that long or anything. It was, like, I think, it was like fifteen minutes. Roman beat Jay, and then suddenly Jay was like his indoctrinated follower immediately afterwards. It was like they they had. Tr- they should, there's so many ways, yeah, I don't know. I, again, I just see so many possible really I mean, like, we gotta see what happens. I'm not gonna. Line. It looks it like, just I mean, it's, it looks like it's going towards that step. Yeah, I, right? I hope it is. And, like, I, it looks like it's going towards that step because I don't really see, unless, like, oh, I'm gonna go back and to the bloodline again. I mean, a lot of people are saying that he's out of the bloodline. I'm like, I don't think he's out. Yeah, until he officially no, says no, no. he's out. I'm like, he just walked away, guys. Calm yeah, down. Jay is now, <laughs> Jay is now out of the bloodline. Like, they are uh, going to tease something. They're going to tease something. The problem is, if they are going to tease the thing with Jay and write it as well as they wrote it with Sammy and then have it go, okay, I, I'll, I'll be with you. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. And then have him, like, at the end, then have a situation where Jay is like, okay, so Roman at Mania is losing to Cody, but of course, Solo and Jimmy runs in and intervenes because, you know, the bloodline helps bloodline. And then there Jay says, no, fuck this, I have, I, I, I still have my honor somehow. Betrays Roman, Cody gets the titles, then they can have their family feud. Fine, I would love that, and I will look back on this moment with much more fondness than I do today. The problem is we have seen all of this before, and it has not led to anything good in two and a half years. Well, I mean, we really like, knew that. There, I mean, we, I mean, we really knew that Roman was going to win. Yeah, I mean, we knew Roman was going to win. It's not. It's it's not that again. Like I said, I'm not. And we knew that. I mean, we I, I we said this before. At least I said this before. Like, if the bloodline was going to break up. It was not going to be an outsider that was going to break them no, up. No, it was going to be an gonna insider be that was going to break them up. Yeah, yeah, and it should be Jay. I, I like it. I'm fine with Jay or Jimmy. I mean, like I, I said, mean, like I said, but it's like, like I said before, it just took too long to get here. Yeah, obviously they think <laughs> and that the company it, thinks that if any of the Usos are going to break out solo, it's going to be Jay. Yeah. Um. So obviously it's going to be, and I'm fine with that. I am fu- like it, but again, it has been I think, a year too long. Yes, and I think also just because, you know, when Roman's in the matches, the same matches all the time, 
it ends up the same match just every time and I was like okay we're just sick of it and I get what yeah. you're saying but I'm like with me I'm like you know what let me just I'm just gonna take that out right now and if you take it out it was an amazing, amazing. moment it was an amazing again, moment it was I mean the, there was like a the, how the, Sami Zayn didn't get elected PWI wrestler of the year I have no fucking clue but he has I. had an amazing run recently well yeah i was right. like amazing amazing if, if you take all that out it, it, it was an amazing moment but you know it's like you know it'd be the whole roman thing it's been done so many times before and it's like okay i'm just gonna take that out and it's just i'm like you know what if they want to shine on jay right now yeah fine. fine let's fine with that fun. let's have try fun. on Run jay just take i will cheer for everything you do with the bloodline i will love every moment of it because they are so so, so very good that they all deserve it and they all will do absolutely amazing stuff but just please take the title of, of Roman first! Yeah. It's, yeah, no, I think we're done. Um, we Tim, have, we have Tim is hungry and cranky people. Yes, we have said all of this more times before. I'm getting, I'm, I'm very hungry. And we've said all this more times before than, than I care to count. Um, overall, I count this mania as a... Uh, eight Not and a mania. Half out of 10. Sorry, rumble. As a 8.5 out of 10. I think the men's rumble... The rest of the show was absolutely fine with a couple of... With, again, post-World Championship match being an amazing moment. Even if it doesn't hit me as emotionally as it apparently hits a lot of other people. Um... And the men's match was just superb. I hope somebody... absolutely perfect. Yes. Be be best best thing the company has. It's difficult to say because the women's war games match at Survivor Series was so very good. But yeah, I think it's the, the that men's match was the best thing we've seen since Extreme Rules. Okay. Well, sure. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh. Chamba Polly stream today, maybe, I don't know. Um, I still am playing. Yeah, I should, I should be back into doing Thursday, so yeah, I, I took a break in January, but I should be I'm, back today. I'm, I'm, I'm still playing um, The Outer Worlds, I think I'm almost done. And we'll you're, you're getting out there, you're definitely getting there. You're, shut up. And um, I'm going to have Friendly Fire coming out pretty soon, but other than that, we will see you guys next pay-per-view, which is Eliminated Stripper. Anything else you want to say? No? Okay, well, bye!